Hi everyone, it's Melissa Davis from My Mimi with Love. And today, guys, I'm coming to you to share with you what I created, my final project and flip through for hashtag a beginner's dream. The design team um, hosted by Tina of Tina Loves to Craft, myself, and Lonnie of Lonnie's Crafts. And this is Tina's first digital kit. It is available for purchase. I will leave the information in the description box below. Um, if you do purchase um, the digi kit, please use the link that I have included in the description box. If you purchase the digi, it gives me a small percentage. Uh, and helps me and Lonnie and Tina out. Um, but I will have all the information in the description box below. So, let's get started and see what I made with our gorgeous kit. Now, on the front here, I have, I'm going to start with the charm. Because if you all remember, Tina sent me some wooden keychains there was a butterfly and a little um square and i used the butterfly and i used my um watercolor paper and decoupaged the butterfly and on this side i used tina's designer paper and decoupaged this side but i just thought the butterfly turned out so cute and the book is full of butterflies. And I've got um, a feather and some little chain, some beads and dangles. Just a pretty little charm. And then here on the front, I did a mixed media master board. You can see the corrugated cardboard here. Um, the all the texture can you got see all that texture in it there's corrugated cardboard here there's paint spray ink acrylic paint um distressed inks this is my watercolor that i've decoupaged onto the the mixed media board and then this is a part of Sheila's designer paper that I've decoupaged. Guys, excuse my nails. I know they're atrocious. Um, then I've got some diamond dust. And you can see there is all kinds of texture. It's not smooth. Then I've got this happy here. And this has got this is rub-ons over top of my um, watercolor. And here's more of Tina's paper. But I just love how that turned out and how it looks. And that's the cover. And then here is the back. And I just decoupaged her paper onto the back and did some rub-ons. And I just love the way it looks. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So let's get into the journal. Here is my first pages, and I've got, and it looks really rugged, which was intentional, of course. I've torn, and I've got some rub on here just to give it some interest. And then here's a little tuck spot and a place for journaling. Then over here, I've got a doily. I think either Carol or Deborah sent me this doily. And I've got a, this is part of Tina's design kit. Um, and then here's one of the tags of her design kit. And you can see I sewed and put some material on it. And so the little doily just makes a, a tuck spot. Oops, that I'm having trouble getting back in there for some reason. And this just goes, my 
back in there. Then of course here's the other side of the doily. And over here is one of the postcards that comes with the kit. Now I made a journal with this kit. But guys you can make cards. You can make any project you want to. It's just a beautiful digi kit. And it's Tina's first one. Um, here I've made some tags. Here is a tag that was actually gifted to me by Annie Loves to Craft. And then I made this um, plastic tag, which I'm, I really love this. Here's a piece of Tina's paper. And then here's a piece of Tina's paper. And the tag is Tina's paper. But I just love the way it turned out. Then here is one of the um, tags that she made. And I turned this into a corner pocket. I used some of that for the background. And I just love the way that looks as well. Then over here I've got a piece of pink trim. This beautiful floral paper. And then it's got a piece of material also attached. Here's lines for journaling. They're hard to see, but they're there. I just, I love the butterflies in this paper kit. Then here I've got a Victorian woman. And this is a napkin. And I covered a business envelope with it. Decoupaged. And then here's the rest of the napkin. And, of course, the envelope has a duck spot. And I have pushed it all the way back in there. And then there is a piece of her paper I've distressed for journaling. That just slides right back in there. Then the next page is more of her beautiful digi kit. See the butterflies, how pretty they are. Then I used a Hobby Lobby. A uh, floral sticker here. I love the way that looks. And I added some um, napkin to the back of it just to give it some interest right there. And then here's one of the little cards that come with the kit. There's plenty of ephemera included in the kit. Uh, here's another beautiful page with the butterflies. Um, here is a corner pocket, and Tina provided us with a couple of corner pockets, and I added this corner and made it two pockets, and then, um, you have, this is a Edith Holden page that has been shrunk, and it's got journaling spot on the back. Then here you can see I've got some of the original Sears Roebuck catalog back there. And then that just all goes right back in here. And then here's another one of my tags. And this one's a lady. I've got material in there. I've sewn around it. Uh, part of the um, paper kit. The tag is made out of the paper kit. And then on the back here is a journaling spot so and then that just goes in there just love the look of that then here on this page and I've got some blue lace over here on this page is another one of the pockets that Tina made and here's one of the little envelopes she's made and I've just you know added a little ephemera and stickers and then here's a little journaling card back here and they're just so cute these little envelopes and then here is a duck spot with a little journaling card and there's her pocket and here I've added my um, watercolor this is my watercolor page so I've added some of that into the pocket and that just goes back in there and then the envelope just rest right there and this is a watercolor page that I did that 
you know, I just decided to use this book because I like the look of it. And this is Rub Ons. Uh, this is some colored paper that Deborah of Chiquita's Crochet sent me, which I just love. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that little um, flower right there. Then here's a beautiful page of t I love the vines. It's just gorgeous. And then I've got one of my little corner hidden corner journaling spots right there. And that just closes there. Um, here's another beautiful vine page. Um, butterflies and florals. Then over here, I printed this page with a pink tone. And I've got some rub-ons. And then this is pink um, writing paper that Deborah did and sent to me. And look at that. It's just gorgeous, perfect for journaling. And that goes back over there. And there is the other side of the pink paper. Um, and then here's another pocket. Um, these pockets, these library pockets, come with the kit. I just love the way they look. Here's more of the old um, catalog. And then I've made this is a library card, and that was in ten, uh, included in the kit. Here is a clock that um, Tina did because Lonnie wanted that. I've got material in there. The little girl is sitting on the clock, and I just love the, look, the whole look of that. And that just goes right back in there. Here's another one of the beautiful postcards that come with the kit. Excellent journaling spot. Another one of the corners that come with the kit. Another beautiful page. And then over here is Tina sent me some uh, tea stained or coffee stained paper. So I've got this butterfly clip here because it keeps... Um, this envelope down, but not on. So that just comes off, and then this envelope comes open, and here is um, some journaling paper, and this also was from um, Deborah from uh, Chiquita's Crochet. Uh, she sent me the most beautiful paper, and then this just pulls all the way out like that, so you've got all this journaling spot, and then this is the, uh, I've decoupaged a little bit of the paper on there just to give it that beautiful look. And then this, you've got all this area for journaling. It's just an excellent, a lot of journaling real estate. And then the butterfly just clips right back on there, and there we go. Then on this side, you've got a side pocket. And this is a uh, card that I deconstructed. I just think that's so pretty with the flowers and stuff. Great journaling spot. And it just slides into that pocket. Uh, beautiful page there. And this is, in fact, a pocket, a side pocket. Another beautiful page. Then here we have another one of her envelopes. And it just is sitting in there with a little journaling card as well. So precious. So precious. And then that just slides back in there. And we've got another one of her tags. And I've just sewn some material. Went around it with some a zigzag. And here is a miniature of one of the postcards, which is also included in the kit. And I just love that. It's so cute. And those just tucked back in there. Then here is a hidden journaling spot right here in the corner. And then your envelope just slides right back there. Beautiful pages of the designer paper. Um, and then here, this is a actually an envelope. And I cut it down to use it for a pocket. And then I've got a little journaling spot tucked in there. Here's one of the flags. There were several flags and little banners. And I've got some 
um, some more of that pink material here. Um, but there's there was tons of ephemera to play with. Then here is um, another lot like, because she does two. There's two library uh, card pockets and two library cards in the kit. I just love that look. Um, of course, I distressed everything and made it look really old. But here's the little boy. There's been a woman, a man, and now a little boy. And I've got a playing card. Uh, there's a, a dragonfly. And the little boy has wings. I just love how that looks with the, the plastic. And that's just packaging plastic. I just I love the way it looks. And that just sits in there. And then we're coming to the end of the journal. And you, oops, I skipped a page. Here's two more beautiful uh, pages. I've left, left a lot of it blank so it can be worked with. Then here is the last page. I've got a beautiful um, rub on here. And this page makes a pocket. And then over here, this is an envelope and that flips up and you've got a tuck spot big pocket here and this is one of the beautiful cards that that come with the kit as well and that just slides in here but then I've got the envelope back here so you've got all uh, of this room for photo storage or anything but you see how big that is and um end up with two little pockets back here that comes over and then that is the journal guys i love the way it turned out i'm very happy with it um please let me know what you think of it in the description box below and go check out the other ladies that are part of this design team um please go over and show tina and Tina Loves to Craft and Lonnie's Craft some love and let them know I sent you. And if, like I said, if you're interested in the digital kit, because it is stunning, um, I will have the information and the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Please let me know what you think about my my um, journal and let no, uh, Tina know what you think about her first digi kit. Because I just think it turned out beautiful. And that's it, guys, from Virginia. We'll be talking to you guys really soon. And bye-bye from Virginia.